الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد we can never have enough reminders about the importance of good manners husn al khulq good adab how we relate to one another our manners our morals our ethics the morals of a mu'min of a believer uh, of a muslim is azim and these morals they come from the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and as aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha she said when asked about the manners of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam she said khuluquhu alquran that his manners were the quran so if you want to know how to be a good muslim how to follow the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam how to improve your moral character your standards where to base your ethics from and how to improve your moral standing in the community it's by following the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and it's by having husn al khulq good manners and those manners are defined by islamic ethics by what came in the quran what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and what came in the authentic sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa ala alihi wasallam some of the benefits of having good uh, ethics and morals is that it produces taqwa god fearfulness in the heart that you'll stay away from the hudud so it's almost like a cycle that both of these strengthen one another that the more you fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the more your manners will improve and vice versa because all of these are a part of iman and we know that our iman our faith it increases by doing righteousness and having good manners and cooperating with people and helping and assisting people and smiling at people all of these are part of good manners and good moral values and these are the values of the believer the values of the mu'min wa an abi hurairata radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qala qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aw su'ila nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam an akthari ma yurkhil an-nas الجنة قال تقوى الله وحسن الخلق وسئل عن أكثر ما يرخل الناس النار قال الفم وفرج In this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم أخرجه ترمذي وصححه حاكم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was asked What is the thing that will cause the people to enter into paradise the most you know what will will cause the people to enter paradise uh more than other good deeds and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that it is taqwallah meaning to fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment and stay away from those things he has prohibited and doing those things and what that he has ordered us to do well husn al khulq and the second thing he said is good manners is having good manners and how you cooperate with other and and interact with other people are you of those people that when your parents maybe even mistreat you that you do the same you mistreat them or if they cut you off do you cut them off or do you have take the higher moral ground because of the rights that they have over you instead that you keep the ties your mother is no longer speaking to you but you still call her you still check on her well-being your father no longer has contact with you you still reach out to him because the bir walidain wa bil walidain ihsana that allah has ordered us to be kind and obedient to our parents so much so that as long as they don't call us to disobedience to allah we have to be obedient to them and this is regardless of whether they're muslim or non-muslim we still have to have obedience to our parents as long as they don't call us to be disobedient to be disobedient to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those things no there's no obedience 
So the Prophet said, We explained what taqwa is. That it is fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His punishment. And, and, and staying away from those things which he prohibited and, and joining those things which he commanded us to do. And we gave some examples that have keeping the ties of kinship or something as simple as smiling that the Prophet said this, this is a sadaqah, this is charity. Just smiling. All of us can smile. Even the ones who are, whose means are restricted, meaning that they're poor, they can smile. And the ones who have a lot of wealth, they can smile. All of these are means of charity in Islam. Or various types and forms of charity. So by having good manners and how we being patient with one another, patient with one another's mistakes, helping and assisting one another. If you know a brother or sister, they need a loan, and you have you know that them to be you know them to be a trustworthy person that they'll repay that loan. Give them that loan because that is one of the great things that the Prophet sallallahu said that that a Muslim will be rewarded for. So that shows us that's also a part of good morals and good manners that we lend and we are kind and gentle with one another and help one another out when we are when our brothers and sisters are in need. So having good morals. Then the Prophet ﷺ was asked, وَسُوِلِيَنْ أَكْثَرِ مَا يَدْخُلَ النَّاسِ النَّارِ فَقَالْ الْفِمْ وَالْفَرَجْ So the Prophet ﷺ was also asked about those things which will take a person into the hellfire. And he salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi said, الْفِمْ meaning the mouth and the faraj. Look at that. Look at the hikmah, nabawiyah or nabuwa. The Prophet Sallallahu wisdom Alayhi Salatu Wasalam and how those two body parts your mouth and your private parts either a lot of good can come from them or a lot of evil most of our sins come from that come from either something negative we've said something evil we said something we've lied about we've bo uh, someone bearing false testimony someone forging uh, or, or or with their their tongue speaking lies slandering backbiting people all of those things come from the tongue they are all ways in which we spread t uh, sin from our tongue from our speech and and likewise the sins of the private parts a person can be involved in illegal sexual intercourse masturbation uh, all kind of other uh, uh, you know homosexuality all those other things which come from the private parts or they can use those two body parts for good speaking a good word Making dhikr of Allah, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, praising the people when they're rightfully uh, should be praised for, praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, supplicating to Allah, supplication. All those various forms of w and, and ways and means that we can use the tongue for righteousness. And likewise, your private parts, if you are lawfully married in Islam, then when you have relations with your spouse, then this is a type of charity, as the Prophet ﷺ said in another authentic hadith. So it shows us some of the things that by good manners, that this is one of the greatest things that will cause people to enter into paradise. Is from their their manners, meaning not just their manners. Of course, they have to be from Ahl Islam. They have to be from the Muslims. They have to be from the people of Tawheed. They can't be the people of Kufr or Zandaka, the people who have Ilhad. But rather, they have to be believers in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And then on top of that, their good manners will help them and benefit them in the hereafter. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said as was uh, collected in Bukhari, Akhraju Bukhari, 
إن خيركم أحسنكم أخلاقا. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the best of you, verily the best of you, is those who are best in their manners. So it shows us again, Ahl Sunnah, Ahl Islam, has the space play pay special attention to their manners, how we deal with one another. وفي رواية إن من خيركم أحسنكم أخلاقا. So also in another narration that was in Bukhari, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, verily from the best of you is those who are best in manners. وأخرج أبو يعلى من حديث أنس يرفعه أكمل المؤمنين إيمانا أحسنهم أخلاقا. So also it was narrated or collected in Abu Ya'la, Musnid uh, Abu Ya'la, from the hadith of Anas, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who said that the most complete believers you know, the, the most perfect believers in Iman, Imanin, is those who have, who are the best in their manners. So the best of the believers in Iman are the best of those in manners. So that shows us the relationship with our deeds and good conduct and morals and ethics and and uh, relations and our manners in general with Iman, with our faith and that those things are a part of our Iman as Ahl Sunnah believes in accordance with the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that our Iman is comprised of the statements on our tongue and our Iman is comprised of the actions that we do. So that would include our manners and our, and our, our akhlaq, our adab, and how we uh, interact with one another, or our kindness, our gentleness with one another. And, of course, what is contained in our heart. All of those things make up our Iman. They make up our faith. They make up the faith of the believer. And so the best of us in Iman is the best of us in our akhlaq in how we enter in, in our, our, our manners and that's beautiful that's a beautiful lesson for us and it's a, baram, a barometer that we can measure how we're doing in this life and how we're doing with relation to, in relation to our religion and the scale of a mu'min by looking at our manners, do we see that we're never smiling at the people? We almost growl at our children as if we're cats and dogs or wolves and our wives. How are we with our spouse? Do we snap at them or are we gentle and kind and lean? We have those manners of, uh, uh, of being gentle and kind. That is what the Da'wah of Ahl Sunnah calls us to. That is what the Salaf of this Ummah was practicing. It's good manners. And, and, and they treated one another, the believers, with kindness and gentleness. Even the disbelievers to make them want to become Muslim. I know that if I had met Muslims that had sour character and I saw that they were cutting one another off and cursing one another and backbiting and, and, and being evil towards one another, I would have never wanted to embrace Islam. But instead, Alhamdulillah, Allah blessed me before I became Muslim to meet and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our brother Nasser, Uth uh, Uthman uh, Hafid Allah Ta'ala and bless him with Jinnah to Firdaus because he showed me good manners and he was one of the reasons that I became Muslim.
and this is a great ni'mah and may Allah bless him with immense reward because of his good manners he used to smile he took me to the restaurant to meet the Muslims he took me to the masjid he uh, interacted with me in such a kind manner and that increased my want to know about Islam so now look at the reward he is, he is gaining. And just from uh, the bab of Faida, from a, a, a benefit, that I remember one of the last times I saw this particular individual, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him. And he was mentioning about when I became Muslim, that he had taken me to the restaurant and he began crying. That shows you the kind of person that he is. He's a person who has a soft heart. And this is what we want to achieve. We all want to strive to have a soft heart that can be uh, influenced by nasiha. That when we make a mistake and someone advises us that we're soft and we, we will accept that advice. Not that we'll, be, have, we'll have harshness and we'll curse them and we'll speak ill of them. And we reject the nasiha even if it may be something that we need to hear. But instead, we want to have a soft heart. We want to follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who said, jannah," that the most that the people would enter paradise is husn al You know, is 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 having God fearfulness and good manners. So that's why we want to strive to be of those people, to be of those people who practice. Islam and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty by all of his divine names and attributes to accept our good and forgive our evil and help us to improve our manners and improve our akhlaq with our families, with our friends, with our companions, with those people we know and those people we don't know, with the Muslims and the non-Muslims in order to be a good example and to illustrate the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam